Do you store your rods and reels in a place that has low ceilings, such as a room in your house or a basement college dorm room? Well, I got the video for you because today I will be going over how to take your rod storage from this to this. And just under thirty dollars now let's get into it now as I was getting more and more rods and reels I started to think how am I going to store these I can't I have low ceilings I can't really stand them up and I don't want to stand them in a corner and leaned up as you saw earlier all tangled up and just a mess so I started thinking started looking online at Bass Pro Shops Dick Sporting Goods Academy for some kind of rod holder that I could put on my wall to hold my rods and quite frankly the ones that I found were way too expensive well I came up with this solution I found these at Walmart now this is a spring grip organizer rail really it's used for garden tools if you're out you can kind of see right there there's the broom and the shovel kind of if you're in a garage or in your laundry room whatever wherever you store your your brooms and mops and stuff like that and I was like hey I could use that on my wall with some hooks and so this is my way of storing my rods and reels and I found that very effective so let's get into what we're gonna use now let's get to what it comes with first you get the rail comes with five of these screws and of course the spring clamps now what I thought about rod tip I didn't know what I was going to use well I came across these little rubber coated cup hooks I also used a an 8 foot 1 by 1 piece of wood that I screwed into my wall that you'll see in just a second and that's how I attached my rail to the wall. Now if you live in somewhere where you can't put holes in walls, you can also use heavy duty command strips and command hooks. Now let's get to what this is going to look like. Now as you can see, this setup is great for keeping your rods tangled free. Now I also have rod socks that I usually put on my rods when I travel. And I also like to keep them on when they're on the wall so that the line doesn't get tangled on in these hooks when I take it off and also when I'm putting them back on. Now when I originally did this kind of setup, I had them all facing one way, just like these two. Now once I started getting more rods and I needed more room, I decided let me get two of these rails. Let's do them both ways. And so that's what I'm going to do today. Now, let's go ahead and get into how I put it together. Now, as you can see, I already have my two pieces of wood that I've screwed to the wall. And I also went ahead and painted them white with some primer spray that I had laying around. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put the rails on and measure out where the spring clamps and the hooks need to go. After all that's done, I'll show you what it looks like and I'll kind of go into more detail on how I did it. Now I have the rails on. Now how I measure out where I'm going to put the clamps and the hooks, I take a hook clamp, I slide it on there, take a rod and put it on there and measure kind of eyeball where the reel is going to sit with the hook to where they're not going to touch each other. You're not going to get any interference when you're taking the rod off, also putting it on. Same over here. I measure out with my rod where the tip's going to go so I know if I'm going to take it off without interfering with the reel or not, such as this right here. You can kind of see the hook 
is placed where you're not going to hit the reel. Now with the clamps of what I've done, I've taken some plastic dip and I've sprayed them. Now what you now for those who don't know what plastic dip is, it's a it's a rubber coating that comes either in a can that you can actually dip it in or spray such as what I had to kind of coat the outside of the metal to make it more rubbery, soft resistance that hopefully you won't tear up the foam grips on your rods. Now how I set it up was my carport outside has three poles hanging it holding it up. I took a piece of rope, I tied it to two ends of, tied it to one of the two poles, and I strung this through it, through this part. Now, now then I just sprayed it. Now, there's a million different ways you can do these. That's just how I did it. You can take upon yourself either, even to do the plastic dip or not. That's just something extra that I did to help protect the foam grips on my reels. Now I'm going to take these, I'm going to measure it out, I'm going to get one set done, and then I'll show you a close up, and then I'm going to finish it up, then show you what it's going to look like. Now what I've just done is I took my rod, I put it up there, I measured out the distance between the hook and the spring, and I also measured out what the distance is going to be that I'm going to screw in the hook. Now what I did was I marked with the, with the marker on the rail where I'm going to screw everything in. Now I'm going to take a metal drill bit, drill into that metal, trying not to go too deep into the wood so that I can screw the hook on one side and also I found that just having the hooks up here these tend to slide real easy now I've marked where I'm going to drill a hole and screw in a screw just barely sticking out to where that thing that, that clamps catches on that screw that is my complete process for doing this I'm going to finish doing one hole rod and I'll show you what it looks like now this is what it looks like close up. I have my I have my rail on the wall. I've got my clamp on. And I've my, got my screw right there. So as you, as you can see, that clamp isn't going anywhere. Now on the other side, you see I have my rail on, and I have my hook. And that's where my rod tip's gonna go. Just like this side, you can see clamp, I've got my rod, the hook, rod tip. So that's basically it. That's how I do it. I'm going to finish my rod setup and then show you what the final product is going to be. Well, there you have it. There's my rod setup. It's all complete of the rods that I have right now. Now you could go higher, all the way from the ceiling to the floor, like I plan to do. Just right now, this is what I have. And now that you have it set up like this, you can easily just take it off whenever you're ready to go fish. Well guys, that was it. That was my budget-friendly rod storage setup. Now if you like this video and you want to see more like it, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you would like to see me do in the future. Also, if you have any other storage ideas as far as storing your terminal tackle, storing your bait boxes, stuff like that for hard baits or soft plastics, please let me know in the comments below. I will do some research. I will find out budget-friendly ways to store your tackle on your boat and in your room. Now let's smash that like button, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, and thank you in advance for being such a great support. Now God's got some great things planned in 2017 that I'm excited about, and you should be too. Now until then, I'll see you next time.